Hi, I'm the man with the yellow hat, and this is Curious George. And both of us want to I wish you... I'm a monkey. Oh, she's a monkey, Curious George. And we both want to wish you a happy Purim. Now, there's many mitzvahs that you can do on Purim. Where you can have a wonderful meal on Purim itself. We listen to the Megillah twice, and we make sure that we give uh, money to the poor. But there's another mitzvah that's very fascinating, and that is Mishloach Manos, which is giving gifts to your friends. Now, it's interesting because one of the questions we can ask is, can I give this Mishloach Manos presents to a monkey? And then the monkey will give the, the, the presents to, to, to Amuna, right? To Chevy's friend, to Kuris George's friend. Is that allowed in Jewish law? So one of the questions we ask is, and the Rambam asked this question as well, is can a monkey wash your hands before you have a meal? And it is disputed, it's, the, it's funny, it's disputed amongst the rabbis. The Rambam actually says yes, but we hold that you shouldn't do something, like you shouldn't do that. But when it comes to Purim, you can give a monkey your mishloach manos, your presents, your food, to a person that you want to give it to. And the reason is, is because the monkey is so different than washing man. your hands. She's a girl monkey, right? Curious George, girl monkey. The reason why you're allowed to do it is because the mitzvah is allowed to be done by someone else. And a monkey does qualify for that. So we're going to do that right now. I am going to give this Mishloach Manos to my Curious George. And she's going to give it to her friend or to the person I want to give it to, to Amuna. And there we go. We've just done one of the mitzvahs of Purim. And we want to wish you a happy Purim.